Well, I have spent some time talking about uh, the different features that make a successful uh, process of um, knowledge to, 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 to policy. Uh, some of these are more complicated than others, but whatever, there are many. And I, I spend almost 20 minutes uh, talking about this. So you may be wondering, uh, this is far too complicated. That is far, this is too, too, too demanding. When I am going to have the time to do my real life work, when I am going to do my research or spend my time in the field or do whatever I do normally. I think this is a very valid uh, question. Uh, the, the, the process of um, the conveyor belt of knowledge to, to, to policy is complicated and it's uh, time consuming and it's very demanding. Is it possible for a single uh, researcher to do the entire thing? Maybe. Some people are really hard working and some people are very, very well organized. But uh, what the papers show, what the, the experience uh, demonstrates, is that this uh, uh, this entire process of, of moving knowledge all the way down to, to policy at different levels, at governance at different levels, is better done or performed by, uni by institutions, by universities, by NGOs, by research centers of one kind or another. Uh, some, some examples of this kind of institution, um, you, you, you can find uh, them around you. You are in one. You are in SANBI, the South African Biodiversity Institute, which is a perfect, perfect textbook example of how, uh, of, of an institution that takes knowledge taxonomic knowledge, systematic knowledge, ecological knowledge of a country in one hand and do all what is needed, what I described, translating. Um, previously, they had probably many meetings with, with different stakeholders. They translate the results. They, um, they uh, communicate what, whatever they do in the right formats with very beautiful uh, um, images, well done, professionally done, and they do the follow-up. That kind of institution is called a bridging institution, um, also uh, sometimes called, called uh, a border institution. They are institutions that sit in the border between science, the world of knowledge, and the world of policy with with one leg on each and they do the bridging. Uh, the fact that there are institutions doing this is oftentimes uh, just ignored by mostly by academics in the universities. Uh, but there are, as I said, several. I mentioned Sanbi. There are others, for instance, the International uh, Agricultural Research Centers, the CGARs, centers. There is, uh, I mean, a famous one is CIMIT in Mexico. There is also the Potato Center, which is in, in, in Peru and branches in other countries. Um, the, the, the Rice Center in the Philippines. In Nairobi, there are several. There are many. And they, they historically have transferred uh, the, the results of science and knowledge into policy in a most effective way, because they have the capacity to, 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 to do the different parts of the process in a very professional way, and they have budgets, and they have the long-term permanence that is one of the most important features of successful knowledge to policy transferring. That, uh, that capacity to stay, to, 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 to be... Um, to be um, I'm missing the word all the time but the, the, because it confuses with the Spanish in my mind. But to be tenacious, to, 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 to be persistent and to, and to address first one, then another, then another of the stakeholders and one is removed because it's favored by, with the current president and there is another one while well, you go on. And, on, and, on, and the entire chamber is changed for an election you work with the next one. That, that, that permanence is an institutional characteristic. It's, it's, a, it's a characteristic of institutions. It's almost the definition of an institution. When you have a good 
policy, science to policy institution, then you have uh, a lot of, 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 of um, you, you have very, a very important, very actually critical part of the puzzle. Um, examples besides SAMBI and besides the CGAR centers are CONABIO, in Mexico, the von Humboldt Institution in in Colombia, uh, INBIO in Costa Rica, um, ATRI in India. There are several others, um, and this is what I think would be the the last part of my uh, of this of this of this session. I want uh, to. I will be presenting instances, specific instances of this process of, of, science, of science to policy in the next couple of lectures. But right now, I think I have spoken more than enough, uh, and I wish you a very good day.